Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you two different ways you can use Python to delete rows from your imported data. This is the third part in a data cleansing tutorial series where I have already shown you how you can use NA to replace the values to what they should be and how you can add column and change column headers. Before I get started, please do subscribe to my channel either by clicking a, a button on my home page or by using a link that will be appearing in this video. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is the table we've been using in Excel and I have updated it to include three rows which have do not use as their item name and Z's as um, their grouping. And what this could represent is if this Excel was a data extract from a different software these could be um, errors due to the software being updated or just the data table itself being updated or just a different range of information being pulled from the same data table. So once I've saved that, we can now get back to our Python. The first thing, the first thing I'm going to show you is where we left off last time. And this is what we had. We had item category, item name, unit price, purchase counter, and purchase date. And we want to get rid of these three do not use rows. The first way I'm going to show you is by just selecting the row itself. And notice on the far left of this output, we have zero to 20. And that's what we're going to be using to get rid of these do not use columns. And how we do that is we can type in Excel read equals Excel read dot drop and drop will drop our selection. And then in brackets, we type in Excel read dot index. And by typing in that, we do this with you index. And then we're going to have two square brackets. And then within the two square brackets, we're going to specify our row numbers. In this case, it is 12 for the first one, 19 for the second one and 20 for the third one. And then once we've equated that to Excel read, we can then print it. And then when we do run it, we should have the do not use deleted. And that's exactly what we have. We have gone back to what we had in our at the end of our second tutorial series of just very nice, clean looking data. The second way I'm going to show you is if we just print this out again, go back to what we had at the end of the second tutorial. And then the second way I'm going to show you is we can actually select, we can actually get rid of the do not use columns directly by selecting the do not use in the item name column where it sits. And we can do this by typing in Excel read and then in square brackets, Excel read square brackets item name. The, what Excel read square brackets item name does is it calls the column item name. And then what we have to do next is we have um, does not equal. That's what the exclamation mark equals means. It means does not equal. And then we have the name of the rows that we don't want. In this case, it is do not use. And so what we've done here is we've called the column name within the Excel read table and we've, we've put it to do not equal, do not use column. So we've basically deselected do not use. And we've equated that to Excel read. So once we print it, we should have the do not use got rid of without needing to select them individually. So if we run it here, we see that we have got rid of all the do not use rows. So that is it for this tutorial. It's a nice short one. I thought I'll just keep it simple and just do one thing in each tutorial series. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos. Goodbye.